Anchoring in the Bahamas never gets old. Every visit brings a new sense of wonder and beauty. One look in your eyes and I find it When you're leaving my mind I rewind it When you got it this good you don't fight it So we are anchored here just outside of West End. Uh, we had hoped to come in and get a slip at West End, but that didn't work out. It turns out it's Memorial Day weekend, so we didn't get a slip, but we found a great anchorage just north of the marina. In fact, we're right off the, off the beach here. It's a fantastic anchorage. The holding was just phenomenal. However, there is a uh, tidal current here of about two to three knots, and our windlass stopped working a couple days ago. We don't know why. Yes, the one I rebuilt three years ago, um, is not working right now, so I'm not sure what it's going on. So we're going to manually pull up the anchor. We manually set it as well. That's not normally a problem, but with a two to three knot current, uh, the anchor will just rip the chain right out of your hands, if you, you know, because it's going to try and push the boat away. So we are waiting for slack high tide, um, which uh, is going to happen in about 15 minutes. Uh, we timed it yesterday. We were here for a couple of days. And at that time, we should have about a half hour of virtually no movement in this water. And in that half hour, we're going to pull up to the chain and then we're going to manually pull it on board. Well, we're going to manually pull the anchor on board, that is. And uh, well, that's the plan. We'll see how this goes, but I think it's going to work. If not, we might be living here for a while. <laughs> so, see ya. Roger out. Wrap it around the capstan. Yeah. Good job. April showers. Can we be hanging? Oh. The ground's still wet and the sky's still gray. But you're still shining. No cadences or chords to play. No melodies. We are approaching. Great Sail Key right now. We've just crossed over, I guess it's the Barracuda Banks, I'm not sure exactly, but we left, left West End this morning. And uh, we had a great anchorage there. Everything held wonderful. Uh, we pulled up the anchor just perfectly by hand and uh, everything went very smoothly. The water has been like glass in the last five hours. Uh, it's uh, been a really good trip. We have had uh, some algae problems again. Um, it's uh, nothing we can't handle, it's just more of a nuisance than anything else, but we're still getting a little bit of algae uh, clogging up our, our rake cores and uh, our, our switching valves and things like that. We'll be through this tank of gas pretty soon, so hopefully that'll be the end of that. Uh, we're hoping to spend the night here at Great Sail. Uh, we plan is to drop anchor on the northwest side of the island, which has very good protection uh, from the south and the east winds, which we're probably going to see. We have south winds right now, very mild winds, maybe four or five knots. They're going to switch to the east overnight and then switch back to the south by morning. Uh, so we'll have good protection there. Hopefully there's space for us there. We don't know. We're a little running a little late. It's about 5.30, 6 o'clock when we arrive. But our plan is to drop the hook there, grab the dinghy, head to the beach, and uh, do some exploring, have a couple of drinks, and uh, we'll see you there. Roger out. No cadences or chords to play. No melodies or words to say. But you're still singing. And it keeps me. When I fall apart To a million pieces When I don't know where to start You put me back together Are you moving? Together. Are you moving? I can't tell if it's set or not. Well, it's not continuing to be moving. I'll do it one more time to hell of it. Okay, that's why, um, I'll tell you later. Through your tear filled eyes and your hands as shame. It looks tight. Just didn't feel the dirt. Darling, I'll be steady. When you're at the end of your tired rope. Yes, you said. When you 
feeling trapped and just need to go. I guess so. It was strange because usually you feel a little bit of a jerk and there was nothing. We did it. Not bad. When you fall apart to a million pieces, when you don't know where to start, put your back Yum! I could eat that like that. And a salad. Yum! It's really a team effort to pull up the anchor without a windlass. Tina is using hand signals to tell me where the anchor appears to be while Jerry pulls up the chain and Lynn pushes it into the chain locker. Once we are over top of the anchor and the chain is pulled in, I leave the helm to help hoist the anchor aboard. It's always fun when viewers contact us by radio while on the water. Thanks for saying hi here and now. Okay, well, we are out here. Uh, I don't know what the heck we're on. We're on a body of water, <laughs> and we had left Great Sail uh, Key a couple hours ago. We're heading to Pensacola. In fact, we're almost there. And uh, right now, we are actually trying to outrun some water spouts, which are, it's hard to say, maybe 10, 15 miles behind us. Uh, everyone's been reporting on it. A few people have passed us, and we hear them on the radio. Uh, uh, talking about it. Uh, we're, we're almost in port. We're not overly concerned with it or anything, but we are concerned with some people that we just passed uh, here and now. Some uh, viewers uh, we're just talking to on radio, they seem to be kind of close to the heart of it. So I hope they're doing well. Um, we are about to uh, pull up to an anchorage right out here outside Pensacola. We're going to drop hook for the night. Uh, we had a great, uh, great evening last night. Uh, it was, uh, it was very calm. We just hung out on the boat, had a nice steak dinner and a few drinks and relaxed. Uh, called it an early night. Uh, we were arriving here in the middle of the afternoon, so I'm hoping we can get out to the island and maybe do some exploring. By the time we got in last night, it was we were late and it was we were tired, and so we didn't really do anything. So hopefully today will be a little bit different, but uh, we'll find out when we get there. We'll see what we see.
There's our boat right back there. And this the beach is pretty cool. They decorated it with trash. I guess trash they found on the beach. And some shells. Swim, I think. We're gonna get, yeah. Yep. <laughs> this is a tray. It is a stingray I picked up at um, West Palm. And just in case Ed asks, I've had it for years. Right, Chris? Yes. For years. Oh, this old thing? That old thing, yeah. So this is our dinner tonight. Isn't that beautiful?